Hi, second graders. Today, we are going to learn how to recognize the value of coins and count up to find their total value. That's our learning objective for today. Which coin is this? Think to yourself. This coin is a penny. A penny is worth one cent. What about this coin? Which coin is this? This coin is a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. This is a dime. A dime is worth ten cents. This is a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. What is an addition sentence that represents the value of three nickels? An addition sentence that represents the value of three nickels is five plus five plus five, which equals 15. So the value of three nickels is 15 cents. Write it, what is an addition sentence that represents the value of three dimes? An addition sentence that represents the value of three dimes is 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. So the value of three dimes is 30 cents. What is an addition sentence that represents the value of three quarters? An addition sentence that represents the value of three quarters is 25 plus 25 plus 25 e equals 75. So the value of three quarters is 75 cents. Each shows the value of three coins. Which coin is being counted for each number sentence? Let's look at this top one. Which coin is being counted? It's a nickel. What about this second row. Which coin is being counted? It's a dime. And this last row, which coin is being counted here? It is a quarter. Let's keep going. What is the total value of these coins? Count to yourself. The total value of these coins, let's count together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. The total value of these coins is 50. What about now? What's the total value of all of these coins? So if we look at the top, it's 50 cents. On the bottom, it's also 50 cents. So 50 plus 50 is 100. So we have 100 cents or $1. What about now? What's the total value of these coins? Count to yourself. Let's count together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 
So that's again, 100 cents or $1. What's the total value of all of these coins together? Down below, down here, it's also 100 cents. So again, 100 cents plus 100 cents would give us 200 cents or $2. Let's count these coins together. We're going to start here in this bottom right hand corner and this is a dime. So I'm going to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 30, 40, 50, 55. So we got 55 cents. Okay, let's look at the next one. Look carefully. This time, I'm going to start here with a quarter. So 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 cents. I'm going to count these coins two different ways. And I want you to count with me. One way I'm going to start where the red line is, and the other way I'm going to start where the blue line is. So starting from the red line, I'm going to count these coins. Ready? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, we're going to count these coins again, this time starting from the blue line. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 13, 23. Which way was easier to count? Think to yourself. Normally, it is easier to count starting with a coin with a larger value. This coin, where the red end is, is a dime. It's worth 10 cents. It's normally easier to start with a coin with a larger value when counting. What's the value of my coins here? Count to yourself. The value of my coins here is, I'll count with you, 25, 30, 31 cents. What's a number sentence we could write that represents our coins? 25 plus 5 plus 1 will give us 31, so our total value of coins is 31 cents. value of my coins now. The value of my coins is 36 cents. We have 25, 35, 36. What's the value of my coins now? Let's count. 25, 35, 40, 45. 45 cents is the total value of our coins. What about now? What's the value of my coins? 25, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 cents or $1. How much money do we have here? How do you know? Count to yourself to find out. All right, let's count together. 25, 35, 45, 55, 
60, 61, 62. Today, we recognize the value of coins and count it up to find their total value. If you would like more practice with counting coins, email your teacher right away. Thank you for joining us for Counting Coins. Uh, come back next time for another lesson. Have a good day.